Today we're checking out the new Pixel Watch 2. I've got the LTE version, but there's also a Wi-Fi version. Comes in four different colors. The one shown here is Bay. I wanna thank Google for sending this over to review on the channel, hashtag gift from Google. Looks very similar to the previous model for the charger, but you'll notice it's got four contact points now. You've also got your quick start guide, safety and warranty information. You've got two different sizes for the band. One is long, one is a little bit shorter. You can see it's not a huge difference between the two. One is just a little bit longer. Looks like it might be the same way to attach the bands as the previous version. I'm curious to see if the old band is gonna fit the new watch. Okay, yeah, it does look like you can. Kinda hard to tell in the video, but there is just a little small spot there that you push and then just slide it over. To put it on, you've just got little ridges here. You can see the little notches there. Once you get those lined up, it should just slide right over. Once you power up the watch, it should just take a little bit for it to boot up. It's pretty simple to set the watch up once you open up the Pixel Watch app. You've got a couple different things that you can check here, like location, usage, and diagnostic reports. And then it should just take a second here before it starts pairing. And then a number should pop up where it's gonna pair. Then it's just a matter of signing in to your Google account. Then just go ahead and hit copy. You'll probably have to put your pin or fingerprint in. Go ahead and accept terms and conditions. It's gonna show you how to take off the bands and then how to put them back on, which is definitely one of the easiest compared to some other watches that I've tested. Then just go ahead and put your watch on. For me, I'm putting on the left with the crown on the right. You can also pair this with Fitbit, which I'll go ahead and do that. I already have the Versa 4, so I'm gonna go ahead and replace that with the Pixel. Now, one thing it says, in order to set up this device, you should first move your account to Google. Your only option is to hit proceed. Go ahead and hit next. Next again. I'll go ahead and disconnect the Versa 4. Once you check off these three items down at the bottom, just hit agree and move. And that should be it as far as connecting it to Fitbit. You can also do Fitbit Premium as well. Now you should be able to use the Fitbit app and the Pixel Watch app as well. And then it's gonna tell you about some safety features such as SOS, share your real-time location automatically in emergencies, or set a safety check to alert others if you don't arrive safely. And then of course you have the Google Assistant, You also have pattern or pin if you wanna set a lock for your watch. You also have Google Pay on here as well. Then it's just a matter of selecting which apps you want on your watch. But there's a ton of others that you can choose from. And it looks like there's an update, so we'll go ahead and do that. Then it's gonna give you some tips on how to use your watch, such as turn the watch on and off by just pressing and holding the crown there on the side. You can also rotate the crown to go through your apps. Use the button above the crown to switch to your recent apps. It's just showing you where the sensors are in the center on the underneath part. You also have a speaker on the side, microphone on the back for making and taking calls as well. You can also rapidly press the crown at least five times to call emergency services or chosen contacts. Even though you have to line up the four little prongs now, still seems to snap right onto the back without any problem. And then once you start charging your watch, it'll start doing the update. Then after a little while, it should say setup complete. Just by tapping and holding, there's a lot of different watch faces you can choose on here. If you hit plus, you can add some more as well. Or of course, you can add them through the app as well. Functionality wise, it's gonna be almost identical to the first Pixel Watch. Swipe down to get to some of the shortcuts that would come in handy like flashlight, airplane mode, screen brightness, settings, battery life. You can silent the watch there as well. You can turn the ring on and off. Swipe up from the bottom for notifications. And then just swiping left and right will take you to the different tiles. 
You can also push on the crown to go back to the home screen. It also works to open up some of the apps there once you're on the home screen as well. You can also get to recent apps by hitting the button above the crown and then go to all the apps from there as well. Then there's all kinds of stuff that you can adjust in the settings. There's only one size, 41 millimeter round. It's got an AMOLED display, just like the previous one with Gorilla Glass 5. It's made of aluminum now instead of stainless steel. You also now have a safety signal where I don't believe that was available on the first generation. It now has all day body response tracking, also has stress management with EDA sensors and guided breathing as well, and also has built in GPS as well. You also have a skin temperature sensor, electrical sensor, for continuous EDA detection. It's kind of nice you can use the Pixel Watch app or the Fitbit app with this watch. So far the sleep tracking and the steps seem to be pretty accurate on here. One issue that I can see, and this was sort of a problem with the first Pixel Watch, is when going up and down stairs, it doesn't recognize how many floors I'm going. I've went up and down our steps probably about six times, so I believe that should be three floors, and it only records one. I know on the first Pixel Watch, it's sort of did the same thing but then it would update later so i don't know if that's something that will be fixed in the software update but yeah kind of unfortunate that it's not working right for floors climbed one good thing is the battery life on here seems to last a little bit longer on this version versus the pixel watch one i can get about two days or so depending on what types of activities i'm doing before i need to charge it back up the pixel watch one i could only get about one day i still would like to see battery life be closer to the fitbit versus a four. I would get closer to a week using that, but at least they are going in the right direction. Now I haven't tried the battery saver mode yet. I may have to do that just to see how much better battery life is. This watch is pretty lightweight. You barely even notice it's on your wrist, which makes sense considering its size. I feel like a lot of people, including me, would like to see a little bit larger version of this watch because it does look a little small on my wrist, but the software is nice and smooth. I like the rounded edges on the glass. It just feels really Really nice when using and it's nice to have the crown on the side as an extra way to navigate there as well just really nice job as far as design goes i would just like to see it a little bit bigger so if you've made it this far into the video you may want to say thanks by subscribing and don't forget to give a thumbs up if this video was helpful this is brian from fishbee productions thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.